Angus was choosing his clothes for a specific purpose. He and Domenica had been invited by Matthew and Elspeth to have dinner at Nine Mile Burn. Matthew had stressed that it would be a casual evening. Kitchen supper, as he put it, but even so Angus wanted to make an effort in order to show that he appreciated the invitation. "'People like you to dress up a bit,' he said. "'It shows that you regard them as worth the trouble.' Domenica was in complete agreement. As an anthropologist, she understood the significance of uniform and of the way in which clothing sent signals. "'When I go to my dentist,' she had once remarked to Angus, "'I expect to find him in one of those natty blue jackets with buttons down the side.' Such outfits reassure those facing the drill. Angus nodded. And pilots should wear blue uniforms with a bit of gold braid. That, too, is reassuring. I wouldn't feel confident if I boarded a plane to find the pilot wearing jeans with rips in the knees. Domenica rolled her eyes. Rips in the knees! Have you ever worked out what's going on there, Angus? He shook his head. It's very fashionable. You buy them with the rips ready made. It's most peculiar. Perhaps it signals indifference to formality, suggested Domenica. Rips proclaim that you don't care about being smart. And that you're not ashamed of your knees, added Angus. Rips say, I don't mind if you see my knees. Domenica looked thoughtful. Are the knees an erogenous zone? Angus wasn't sure. I've never been attracted to knees myself, he said. But there may be some who are. He wasn't sure whether gallantry required him to say something here about the attractiveness of Domenica's knees, but he decided to say nothing. Anybody could tell the difference between sincerity and insincerity when it came to comments about their knees.